Yeah, yeah, big storm coming, black rain coming First in the world, tell me who won it Winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep Big storm coming, black rain coming First in the world, tell me who won it Winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep Alright man, back with it On some ranked rigs I'm finna play with the Bills, I ain't gonna lie Um I need to see if it's like Legit Skill based matchmaking Because I've been like just picking random teams <coughs> And running into some Demons bro So <coughs> Excuse me, if I do run into A demon right here I wanna make sure I got like a good team You feel me, cause I, I wanna make sure but um, there's no, you can I don't care who you is. You can't say there's no there's no skill in rank rigs no more. Like we ain't you ain't just running into bums now. You know what I'm saying? When you when you just run into bums, you get to thinking, ah, oh, ain't no skill in rank rigs, bro. Ain't nobody. I gotta go to players' lounge to find comp. Nah, not no more. Madden done switched that shit up and said, yeah, you thought so, right? Okay, cool. Watch this. Watch this, because this shit then got serious, bro. I've been playing nothing but straight up, you know what I'm saying? And I usually get on here just to, like, create content and, like, have a conversation with y'all. Like, it's the only reason I play ranked rigs now, but look at this shit. I just play Zonk. Thousand and twenty. I, I didn't even know how to say the number. A thousand and twenty-two wins and thirty-eight losses. Like, what? And then, and then the dude I played before him... Was good as hell. You really mad? Hell yeah, I was mad. This dude right here was hell. This dude right here had a great record, but I just whooped the shit out of him. He had a great record, though. But the last couple guys I done played done showed me that I think they done switched up their skill base of matchmaking. But, like, I, I, you, I really used to just get on here and be like, let me pick with a random. Let me jump on here with a random team because... They not matching me up with no demons. So I'm going to get a regular team. Get on here and just have a conversation with y'all. And then I can title the video however I want. You feel me? Now it's like, nah, demon. You get a demon. You get a demon. And I figured it out because I used to get into a game in three seconds. As soon as I click, I bam, in the game. Now they making me search three and four and five minutes. That's how I know they trying to match me up with somebody who is searching as well with the same uh, skill base pretty much. Um, what I like to do after each um, game is I like to go and look at their records and see uh, things like that. But I'm seeing they definitely they definitely matching us up but with similar skill level. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With flex play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with prize picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, prize picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, prize picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download prize picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. All right, I got me matched up with the Broncos, right? Uh, maybe this ain't a demon. I don't know. Nobody plays with the Broncos. But at the same time, though, this is why I kind of, like, didn't like to switch over and rank regs from current gen. Because, never mind, this is Pete. Never mind. I was, I was literally about to say nobody plays with the Broncos except Pete. And damn it, I got Pete. This motherfucker's a demon. Shit. I ain't played Pete in a little minute. Pete's on the channel. I done played Pete like three or four times. I think I might I think it might be like two or two, two and two or something like that. This motherfucker Pete is a damn demon. Runs with the Broncos every damn year. Yep, skill-based matchmaking is on. <clears throat> yep. 
But what I was gonna say is, um, I, I didn't like the switch over from current gen to next gen ranked regs wise because you can literally look and see who your opponent's playing with and say, nah, I don't wanna play, I don't wanna play against them. Like that's ass to me. Like that's that's trash. That's trash. Like I can I can um I can sit here and say I don't never want to play against the motherfucking Chiefs. And I can do my my you know what I'm saying, getting my stuff together and I can see Chiefs and say, nope, backed out, not playing versus the Chiefs. And that saves your record a lot of times. And that'll and that'll save your record a lot of times too. He's still running just fucking this man to man been giving me problems for fucking years playing this dude. He just runs stock cover two man and and fucking dots up on offense. But um that's but back on on current gen, <clears throat> back on current gen you had to have like a you had to have you know what I'm saying. It wasn't no oh I'm only playing against no no you playing against whoever Madden decided to match you up with. Whoever man you up match you up with, that's who you playing against. So you run into a bunch of the the good teams every single time. So you run into a bunch of the good teams every single time, but now on here, like you can you can see the Dolphins and say, I don't ever want to play versus the Dolphins. They got too much speed. You can see the Bills. Nah, I ain't fucking with the Bills. They just got too much going on. It's just it's just a cop out, really. I think. So a lot of times you see, a lot of times you'll see these good records and it'd be like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? You might got a good record, but how many times have you played the, or how are you playing this and, and things like that. So, um, a lot of times I see good records. I'll be like, I don't know about it. A lot of times I see good records and I'll be like, I don't know, man. Because I know people like that. Um, there was a dude. I ain't going to say no names. But there was a dude that he would like when I would, when I would watch his stream. He would literally say, nah, hell no. Nah, I ain't playing. Uh -uh, I'm not playing against them. No, nah, I don't feel like sweating versus them right now. No, nah, I'm not about to. No, nah, I'm, I'm tired of playing against them. Shit like that. Great catch. I wonder why that deep half safety is playing that though. It's kind of weird to me. Why the fuck are you playing down the middle of the field? Easy. It was a nice drive, man, but it's straight man to man. So you know what you're going to get. You just got to beat it. And I don't know how, but every single year he always get the Broncos and they always got some good man to man. But I promise this will be a GG, man. Um, if you have made it this far in the video, man, do me a big favor, man, and smash that like button. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Um, I want to speak on a, a couple topics this video. Um, a dude left me a comment. And um, I wanted to I wanted to speak on this on this comment. Dude said, am I the only one that realized Dog Channel really actually peaceful? It's rarely any extra loud ass noises and extra gimmicks and stupid shit. Just straight to the content with a random topic that you can actually sit and listen to and still pay attention to the gameplay. I don't even be a fan of gameplay of people getting blown out, but even those games still be nice to watch. And that's literally what I be trying to, to tell people and that's what I be trying to base my channel on. You know what I'm saying? There's Madden content all over YouTube, right? But nobody's playing Madden. And really talking about real life situations, except for form. Um, me and form really kind of got into doing the topics and stuff like that at the same uh, around the same time, you know, because <clears throat> he's an older YouTuber, um, an older content creator. I feel like I am too. Oh my god, I, I passed committed right there. Make a tackle, please. Thank you. Um, we and, and we done been through shit, right? We done been through a lot of different things, like been through a lot of things in life to the point where like you know what I'm saying and y'all be asking questions and we be wanting to share these things with y'all we want to share these things with y'all and and it's like I said it's more than about Madden to me like people get on here and be like bro like 
you you doing this and mad and that and mad. And I be like, bro, honestly, I don't even. It's gonna sound funny me saying this, but I be like telling people like I don't really care that much about. Oh, let me pick that. Oh, wee! shout out to you, Jalen Virgil. Shout out to you, App State. Shout out to you, Jalen Virgil. Shout out to you, Jalen Virgil. Shout out to you. But I be telling people like I don't even really. Make a tackle. I passed committed again because I thought it was throwing an RPO. I be telling people, I don't really care that much about Madden. Like, when the new shit come out and things like that come out and the new glitches and that, I don't be knowing. I don't be knowing. I don't be knowing. People be like, yo, bro, can you, can you, comp do you think if you really sat down and, and, and took your time and then you compete with all the greats like Henry? And I be like, bro. I'm pretty decent now. I think I'm a good Madden player now. And I don't lab up nothing. I don't spend time doing Like, no, bro, I barely. It's tough to say this and people ain't going to believe it. But, like, when you compare it to, like, the pros and things like that, I barely even play Madden. I barely even play Madden. This is my first regs game today. I played two Mutt games earlier. And I only play for content. This is, I only played three total Madden games today. Three total. Three total. This is my third Madden game today. And I'm only playing to create content. I'm only playing to have something to post on the channel. No way. Good, good, good drive. Good, solid drive right there. So, when I be trying to tell people, like, if I really set... And, and these pro players will tell you, bro, they spend... They treat this shit like a full-time job. Like they do eight hour, ten hour shifts of Madden per day, bro. Like I don't think people understand how much time that they putting into this in, in, into these uh games. Yo, bro, have you ever thought about like stop creating content and going and, and winning two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in these tournaments? Yeah, I've thought about it. You don't think a lot of other people have thought about it too? You don't think they done tried it? You you, you feel me? But, but the thing is, though, everybody's not winning that 250000 Everybody's not winning it. Everybody's not everybody's not winning it. So it's like, yes, it would be cool, too. If, that, if that's the question, hell yeah, it would be cool, too. It would be great, too. It would be cool to do it. It would be great to do it. But is it worth trying to time-wise? Is it worth trying to time wise? Cause it's it's time consuming. You're gonna put in these these eight hour shifts a day playing Madden. And then you gotta try to find some way <clears throat> in that meantime, you gotta try to find some way to, to to make money. Like if you if you actually have a job or whatever the case may be, you gotta go do that job. You gotta you feel me? And then you gotta play Madden in your free time. Like you know, it ain't just no it ain't just a walk in the park. It ain't just a hey, bro. I'm finna, I'm finna just quit my job and get out here and make two hundred fifty thousand dollars in this tournament. Shit, if it was that easy, if it was that easy, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be doing it, or a lot of people would be trying it. But they ain't, cause it ain't that damn easy. They ain't because it ain't that damn easy. And people tell me all the time, bro, you got the skill set to do it, though, bro. Like, you got the, you already, you already there, bro. Like, you already, bro. I don't know if that was going to be a good read or not. I'd be like, bro, listen. As, as, as easy, maybe I do make it look easy, but this shit ain't easy. And I tell people all the time, what do you got, mid zone kill? And I tell people all the time, I think I would rather um, create content anyway. Come on, man. I think I would rather be a content creator anyway, whereas while I sit here and I record myself playing and post it and make money, win or lose, regardless, rather than Rather than try to 
rather than trying to trying to win for 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 the content. What route the fuck is Diggs running, bro? Great defense. Did, did, did Diggs not have a but did Diggs not have a 10 yard in? This motherfucker ran some crazy shit. I can't even tell y'all what Diggs ran just now. And Diggs is a great route running receiver. He just got destroyed. At, was that even who who was on him? Was which call it even on him? Uh, Pat Sertain was was PS two even on Diggs? Like who? Like it's a ten yard dig, bro. Run straight ten yards in. What the fuck? I don't know what he. I don't know what he ran right there. I I really don't know what he ran just now. And that was one of the main routes I was looking at. Great defense. A sack fumble would be nice. <sighs> sack fumble would have been nice there. A sack fumble would have been nice there. Good defense. We need to stop here. Great defense. That's a stop. Thank you. Oh, man. We needed that. Oh, shit. Yeah, look like PS2 is on him. Giving him fucking hell. Giving Diggs hell over there is crazy. Now we beat him off the line of scrimmage. So he's only rushing two and spying... The, the nose guard. I feel like I just now started paying attention to that. We got to get in this end zone. There ain't no if ands, or buts about it, buddy. We got to get in this end zone. Good defense. I had the... I had R1. Was it RB? I had RB open. I said all one because I've been playing <coughs> mud on PlayStation all day. Well, not all day. I played three games. Um, I don't know what I want to run here, honestly. Run him over, Josh. Run him over, Josh. Run the D lineman over, Josh. He got a he got a touchdown like that. Let me get one back, just like that. Let me get one back just like that. But I feel like a bunch of people look at Madden and be like, bro, like, if you if you thought you could do it, bro, you would do it. Nah, it's not if I thought that I could go and win $250,000, I would do it. Um, It's it's the, I, I'm t I know the work that it's going to take to do it. Like, I know the time it's going to take to put in <coughs> to sit here and try to and what I got going on now, it's just not worth it to switch. I don't think, personally. I don't think it's worth it to switch right now. As a content creator, me creating content, I don't think it's, it's worth trying to stop and abandon. Trying to stop and... Oh, that's a long ass one second. Trying to stop and abandon me just doing content to just go and try to win $250,000. When the chances of me winning is, is damn near slim. And I'm an honest person. I'm an honest person. I'm a very honest person. I'm a very honest person. It's not that I don't. It's not that I don't think that I can put in the time. It's not that I don't believe in myself. It's like it's just not worth it to me. To you, it might be. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, for for me to be on my job right now, or whatever the case may be, I'm working at McDonald's. Man, I could two hundred fifty thousand dollars sound great right now for me to stop what I'm doing and just play Madden and, and win two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It sounds great to everybody. It sounds better to some people, but to some people who are already making money off of just creating content, that I don't have to go out there and sweat and win and sweat and win and sweat and win and sweat and win and pray 
and hope Madden ain't on bullshit today. For me to go out there and win $250,000, it's just not worth it when I'm already making money by creating content. Great tackle. Great tackle. And if you ever thought about it, that's why a lot of content creators don't even try to go that route. Because it's really not worth it content creating wise. And then you have to say, well, bro, I know you can try to do both, right? And it's like, do you see any content creators that's any pro players that's on that type of level content creating wise and pro player wise? Not really. Not really. Not really at all. Let me get what the, the fuck is going, bro. But I just, bro, <sighs> bro. And the crazy thing about it, when he threw that, I was about to say thank you. Let me get that. That is crazy. And the crazy thing, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was hard. It was hard. I just please make a tackle, please. I pass committed again. Please make a tackle. That is that was that was crazy to me. That right there was actually crazy to me. Great defense. Love it. Stop route by 80 or 10. One of them got a fucking stop route. I told you. I fucking told you. Like, it what? Oh, my God. I told you. One of them got a dumbass stop route. I just feel like, I, I don't know, man. This is, this is crazy. This is, this is absolute craziness. This is wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, get the fuck down. This is wow. Good tackle. That's the type of passes I need to be seeing from Russ. Right there. Those exact passes are what I need to be seeing out of Russ. Because ain't no damn way, man. They got Russ out here throwing this motherfucker good as hell. Come on. Stretch. Come on, Micah Hyde. Talk to me, Micah Hyde. You can't catch or play coverage. But you do everything else good. Like, can y'all please explain to me what my zones are doing? You're in a purple. Y'all see the purple up there on the play art. There's somebody coming right in your zone, and you just decide to abandon it and just run the whole other way. That's the only reason I went and lurked the middle of the field, because I'm like, okay, I got a purple over there. I'm like, I got a purple over there, so he, whenever he, you feel me, bam, he going to sit there and wait on this crosser. I'm going to come and lurk the middle. This man throw the cross, and I'm like, yes. And my zone is running towards the middle of the field, letting this man run right past. Him. This shit be crazy. I'm, I'm wrong committing. That's how you track the ball, Micah Hyde. Like, that's how you track the ball. Dog, dog, bro, I just, I just don't, bro, I just don't know, what, what? oh my god, is, is my people scared of the ball, like, what? he's running right to you, and you running away, man, I just, I don't know, I really don't know how to put him in better positions, bro. 
I really don't know how to put my players in better positions to be successful. They just don't give they just really don't give a damn. They don't they just really don't give like they don't give a fuck. Excuse my language, but man. What do you got over there? If you think and if you think I'm finna get your feet down. And if you think I'm finna sit here and, and put my life on the line and my bills on the line to sit here and try to compete in this game for for thousands of dollars, like if I don't win, I don't eat type shit. Well, y'all is crazy. I'd rather just create my little content, make my little bread like this, and go on about my damn day. Cause this shit crazy. You can literally play, you can literally play perfect and lose in this shit. I've been, I, I think I, I feel like I'm supposed to have like five or six picks already. I can say five or six, at least two or three picks. And Madden just like, no, we ain't, we ain't giving it to you. If we get stripped, bro, I will be so mad. I'm, I'm showing y'all because I went on conservative. If we get stripped, I can't explain how mad I'll be. I figured he was going to blitz and leave him open. I figured he would. Only reason I passed the ball on first down right there. But what do y'all think about that, though? You know what I'm saying? What do you What do you think? Should I just stop YouTube, stop everything, um, and just say, hey, I'm about to be a Madden pro. I'm going and trying to win $250,000. Um, and if you and if you if you take a look at it, right? If you take a look at it, everybody that's a pro or whatever the case may be, they're all pretty much running the same similar offense and defense. And what it comes down to really is And what it and what it comes down to is what it comes down to is is Madden on your side today? Like I'm seeing people depend on onside kicks. I'm seeing like people recovering onside kicks to win games and and I'm just like I don't know. He want me to score so bad. Stay in bounds. Perfect. I'm just like, bro, I don't know if it's... It, I don't... I personally, for, from my perspective, I don't think it's worth it for me to stop doing content and trying to go be a... And, and try to go be a pro. I don't think it's worth it. Could I do it? Eh, maybe. You know? I might could. But... Is it worth that risk of me trying... I personally don't think so. Some of y'all gonna probably say I played this like a hoe. I played this weird. Why you run? Uh, why you? Why you chewing clock? Y'all see how the game done went for me so far? <clears throat> y'all done seen how this game done went for me so far? I mean, it wasn't a bad game, but some passes I feel like I should have picked off, and this game wouldn't even come down to this right here. But at the same time, though, Pete's a good opponent, and this is skill based matchmaking now, so I'm not playing this to. To joke around, I'm playing this to win. You feel me? I'm playing these games to win. Like, no if ands or buts about it. Oh my God, we don't get, we don't get iced. Shit, I'll definitely take my dub like that, <clears throat> especially versus Pete. Especially versus Pete, who played a hell of a game. And I'm pretty sure he, had, he might. I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure he's top 100. With a great record. I'm pretty sure he is. And he only plays with the Broncos. Yeah, 59. 14, 49, and 43 is the record. Pete. Just messaged me. All my messages pop up on my on my computer. Um. So that's why I looked over there. I seen it pop up. He just messaged me and said GG. <clears throat> Which it definitely was a GG. Um, see if it'll see what see what teams. Yeah, he done played 
every game with the Broncos except 18 and 0 with the Ravens. And everybody else, everything else is with the Broncos. Look over here on the side for me. I done play with them to everybody. <clears throat> you feel me? A lot of games with the Jets to start off the year. And then I played with literally everybody. Everybody at least once. Everybody at least once. I got a loss with uh, Chargers, Colts, Commanders, Dolphins. Uh, I just got this loss with the Dolphins with the... Uh, Playing zonk, against Zonk, I think. Uh, one loss with the Eagles, 13 with the Jets, which a bunch, of these, a bunch of these are disconnection losses. One loss with the Patriots, you know, but that was a GG, man. That was a GG. Skill based matchmaking is legit real, and I'm glad because now it's going to make for better content. Love it. Hey, Blair, wait. Oh, yeah. Huh.